kit in, in kit we will see um I, I will tell you after this after the brief. Uh Crispy, can you eat your pipe bunk over here? And bring up right, the map. Uh, we're not gonna wait on him. Don't know why he's over there just wandering around. Uh alright guys, so welcome to Operation Eagle's Peak. Uh we have been tasked with holding this hill against a possible Russian offensive. We do not know exactly where they are coming from, but then we do know they wish to take the uh, Yehurivka area. And this hilltop being the primary point is going to be used as our OP to rain down hell and artillery in the future on the Russians. They know this, and they wish to take this hill before we can do that. So, very simple. We're going to be defending a few key terrain in the area. Start things off, Dorf, as the two IC. His squad will be holding that hilltop at N13, marked with the uh, 5. And three, uh, his squad's be, your, that squad is going to be tasked with holding a key position that actually partially overlooks the western edge of our base there. Uh, he will be trying to hold that for as long as possible. Uh, if, he, if his squad gets forced back, he will be holding a reverse slope defense. If that is not enough, he will then bug out south along this route and uh, move as needed from there. Boogie squad, squad two, will be set up on the eastern hill in Oscar 13. His squad will be tasked with holding that hill to the last man, and his squad will be responsible looking out to these north, northeast, and east. You guys, do you, anyone in squad two, you guys are going to be anchoring down our eastern flank, so it is very important that you guys uh, manage to hold that for as long as possible. Squad uh, one, Total War squad, will be sitting here on the point. You guys will be our last line of defense, and you will be assisting in building our glorious fob that will uh, withstand this Russian tide. Uh, lastly, we have Crispy Squad, Squad 4. You guys will be split into two groups. One fire team will be on that knoll and M13 on the uh, infantry mark, while another one will be somewhere up to the squad leader's or fire team's uh, leader's discretion. South in the valley, marked with another uh, infantry mark spot. Uh, that is basically it. Um, any questions? All right, squad leaders, come out, get ready for live. Base. One BTR-80 and one logistic truck base, and we are live. Then they can also choose between two options, the infantry option or the mechanized option. The mechanized option gives them two extra BTR-80, so a total of three. The uh, infantry option infantry option gives them one trans truck and platoon mortars. Two platoon mortars and two extra lodges to uh, have ammunition for said mortars. Most likely going to see that mechanized option. Three BTR-80s on the map is insane amount of firepower. And with the way Alpha Guido has set up his, uh, separated his um, lats and hats, it's really going to put a lot of pressure on these individual squads to perform with whatever flank is being pushed. I'm not sure. Yeah, he went with the mechanized option. Look at that. Three BTRs rolling down. Easy choice. Blue team spreading out into their position. We got blue three northwest, blue four southwest, blue two east, and blue one on point proper, probably manning said mortars. Um, We're going to wait for the Russians to get a little bit closer before we go check them out. Let's check out three's position, and we'll go counterclockwise around the board. How's it going, everybody? I was four spots away on the waylist. Unfortunate Alola bread. A loaf of bread. Unfortunate. Maybe you can get in second round, just chill out and pre op. How's it going, B car? How's it going, everybody? So this position's pretty good for looking out to the to the west. Got pretty good sight lines. Yeah. They can see so far. It gets a little shady here. Drama chat. A little shady here. But uh, they can see uh, out to about that, so it's not bad at all. Um, same the, but if you can see them, they can see you. I'm gonna actually sit with you. Mostly a scouting position. I don't expect them to stay here for too long. BTR splitting up. We got two BTRs heading south. A BTR and a trans truck moving uh, a little more north of them. Maybe seeing a two pronged approach here soon. Let's go check out Forrest's position. So this is the really, really low ground. 
really looking out to the southwest. As I actually really like the tree, the tree cover here. It's it's sufficient in my opinion to conceal you and allow you to maneuver in the background. I like it. Pre-sighted location, pre-sighted uh, artillery. And in the south flank over here with the fire team. On the U.S. side. Oh, where do you need it? I just, for reference, Kilo 11 8 more. Around the radio tower. Not bad, not bad. Eastern flank. Man by blue 2 here. A little risky being that far out, Dick's folk, but I like the idea. Just man this trench. I'd actually maybe even push further down the trench. Can you hear them from here? But from where they're at, they're, they're yeah. it's pretty good. Okay, yep, you're good. Not bad, not bad. Alright, what is it presided? Maybe just trying to get eyes out on anything and everything he can. Still waiting on Russians to move. I think they're close enough we can go follow them in for a minute. Oh, let's check out buildings right, here. Uh, what if they decided to build up? Negative. More sandbags, more Hesco walls. Uh, three or four, nothing. Uh, Not bad. It'll probably be a while before we end up seeing them, unless they come in from the north. Did you said anything? Let's go check out some Russian movement. Who's gonna get there first? I think it's this northern element's gonna get range first, I think. Cruising down the road, not a not a worry in the world. Really like the BTR eighties. They're slightly nerfed in our mod, just to make them a, a little bit easier to kill with those lats. But in vanilla games, they're very powerful. As long as you know how to angle, you can take so much damage to the front before actually uh, dying. Here, I think it's like three three or four shots and you're dead no matter what uh rear shots might be an insta kill or like a burnout and die um side shots is like two shots and you're dead but front you can still take a little bit about three to four look they're getting in range to dismount infantry and we will be seeing a two-pronged approach most likely gonna see something like oh, way too far Maybe like a dismount here with a push that direction and a dismount. I actually want to say like. Uh, hey, Joe, here. let's focus on getting the inner ring of uh, defenses up now. Push. Copy. Two, though. Looks like they are going to move a little further north uh, or east. How's it going, the Sultan? Maybe they're gonna go all the way. Okay, no, they're dismounting here. About this, about the area I thought they were gonna push or uh, dismount. They're really gonna use these uh, these rocks to get up. A little pathway between the rocks, and then that allows them to jump into the this trench line here and come up like that. There's actually a, a relatively short distance here they can push without actually being spotted, I want to say. I don't I don't think... This is where they got to worry about being spotted. If they can get past that little area, they're fine. I don't think they, the U.S. have sight lines. We'll see if you're starting to dismount. Oh, shit. 
think I didn't mark anything useful. Who's manning this Razor and Hawk manning it with Phoenix commanding? Phoenix is a good vehicle driver or vehicle commander. He knows how to use them. Going to be red four, red three on the north. That puts red two and one on the south. Let's go check out sidelines for this northern element. Almost overflow it. Yeah, you see how it has a, a huge dip here? Look, I think the side angles are going to really help. They can see here. Anything below this line, they're, they're clear. Right? Soldier will be on point here. Yeah, you, you can definitely get below his side. And once you, it's about once you cross the road, you're in the clear. Soldier will better be on point with his spotting. Um, maybe even silent. Oh, silent's gonna spot these. Silence. Fucking. He's good at uh. That's seeing things. He's actually looking at a tree. I'm not sure if he's going to see anything. Didn't have the cleanest angle. There they are. Enemies on the south continuing to move. That's blue two, blue one. Looks like they're going to be the assault element pushing very quickly. While these guys on the north are going to be the counter flank slash. They're going to commit in a direction and they're going to come in with that secondary attack, secondary assault. Just the movement game right now. All we're going to see probably for the next, I, I, I want to say three to five minutes. Looks like, actually, maybe just slightly, about five to six minutes. As they're waiting for Hamdog and Evan to, to get forward. Gosh, did someone not, uh, did someone not unload? Loving the Woodland camo modern in the US, they should add it to base game. Yeah, um, I really like it. It's better than, like, I feel like the US have desert camo. The entire, like, in, in every vanilla layer, I definitely like having different, because don't the, the Russians have different camo? I have an FYI, one of my guys is re uh, restarting. Copy that. Yeah, definitely, these guys are going to move in quickly, blue 2, and, or red 2 and red 1. Actually, no, this is this all just one? Oh, there's the infantry. Infantry have dismounted on the south. Look at that movement. They're going to come in from the southwest. Push up through here, maybe? I don't know. This push here won't work. Are the north units a distraction? I'm not sure now, and I'm not sure anymore. Like, big picture. Got a line here, a line here, blue wall, something like this. This approach isn't going to work. 
This approach? I don't think that's going to work. Maybe they can sneak in from the, the low ground. I think their best assault path is to push here with, um, with BTRs. This is the feint. Feint here. And then once you draw everybody all blue onto this side, you can push in from the rear. So I think this should be the main assault. Here. Main assault and then the secondary push from that from the north. Cause this this area right here is already undefended. They can push in from here. Let's see though, still too far to do anything really. Uh, US are just gonna continue to scout out. Let's see where a dwarf is looking. Looking north. Might see four and three, maybe. Units in the north direction. Oh, they just mounted the south. Thought they were waiting in the shoot. You're rushing. That's what I thought they were. Scruffy Swede. I thought they were gonna wait and then they were gonna push in quickly and push through. Um, so if anyone has a uh, key terrain or any location they wanna have preset for mortars, let me know now. There they are. Blob of red over there. Dwarf isn't looking in the right position. His head's in the right spot. Not exactly looking where he needs to be. Watching his sector. It's going to fall. It's probably his fire team lead on this flank from blue two. It's probably going to be blue two who spots him now. I don't know. Honestly. I think they're already under his sight lines. Let's go check out on point man for the uh, red platoon. Hi monies. Matt Bob and Gerwolf. 100% under the U.S. sight lines now. No way. No way. Good movement from this, uh, this, uh, these two squads on the north. Really good movement. Who's in charge of these? Phoenix and Silas. And they've got a BTR here. This, this is 100% unspotted, and they're within 900 meters of the enemy. They're going to get within 600 before you, you start hearing the BTR. Yeah, great, great movement here. Yeah, forward scouts too. Like they made sure they can get here. They sent I money's crew. They sent a full, basically a full fire team here to check this out. I really, really respect the movement. Really respect the use of those scouts, making sure you're not getting your whole half of platoon locked down, and then the rest of the squad's gonna push up, and then the the squad will move forward. I like it a lot. Hopefully, this area isn't pre-sighted for mortars. All right, guys. I feel like they were gonna be coming from anywhere from the north or the west. They may have hit already. Very possible they may be maneuvering around to our south, possibly oh, southeast. Oh. Command, command. I have I have a squad moving to my uh, north and a BTR. Well, they spotted that BTR. Hold one. Second What's squad that What do you think that grid is? What do you think that grid is? There's two. There's, they've split up. There's another lot still at the original position. Give me a sec. Uh, if I would guess, I'd say it's like November 10, uh, November 10, 2, November 10, November 10, 2, November 10, 5, maybe? November 10, 2, November 10 area. Uh, cannot confirm at this time. November 10, 2 is not a bad call. November 10, 5 is better. Okay, the other team's moving out. Like they're moving, yeah, the other squad's moving. Yeah, squad's and then look at these guys in the southwest. Oh, wow, this is gonna, this is actually very well-timed movement. As they spotted four, one is right here, ready to push in. Where are they? Where are they? There they are. Keep eyes out for any other potential elements. Hey, hey, squad two, in relation to the buildings, where, is, where are those vehicles? Oh, wow, great movement for the red team. Um, who's in charge? With Evan SMA. Or's none the wiser yeah, too. To with a couple mortar rounds. Um, if you can give me an act, bit Piper's of starting to push. Boogie for uh, mortars. Let me try. Hang on a second. Moving across the open now. This is the assault here. This is the push. Sebi V's. You're right there. Oh, no, are they gonna get caught out here? You can no. try. November ten eight nine. Four four. November 
for 10, break, 9, break, 7. Break, 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 break. 4, you have a full squad pushing you from the west 50 meters in front of you. I see them. Let me give you a grid. Go. M473. Oh, we have no, we have no idea. Four didn't spot them. Can you confirm? Right, be advised, supporters will be going out in that position. I can't confirm. confirm. I see them all. Yeah, if they don't deal with this guy, Wayne Noon's pushing on. Or Zeke is pushing on a Wayne Noon. I would send one. If they don't can. deal with Wayne Noon and his fire team here, uh, this is not going to end well. Fire out. On to not an NSA spy. Not an NSA spy takes out Wayne Newton. First casualty of the round. BTR starting to fire. Zeke in position now. Finally getting some shots about. Jeez, what was that? When, when was live? 740. Almost 20 minutes into this round. A lot of maneuvering this round. Zeke and his fire team now have control of this little. Oh, it's content. Uh, contested. Sloth boy takes a frag. He's going to be able to bandage. Guide those mortars in, this could be deadly. Zeke may go down to friendly fire. A BTR may take somebody out with this friendly fire. Command BCR the rest of these guys pushed up. Wow, really good push from this element here. Dwarf may go down. Oh, Frag takes out Viper, but his spacing was good with CJ. Doesn't go down. That's good. That's good. Bam goes down to Oddball. Dwarf goes down to a Frag. Proper use of Danger Close. These mortars should land about here. Hopefully, D Leak doesn't go down in this. Good mortars. Takes out Lima Bean. E fake me. No, E fake's gonna make it out of that blast, but good mortars. Good call out from Dwarf. That was really solid. They just need to spread it out from this area. Update on kills. Three kills for the US, seven for the Russians. Three more mortars landing on Lima Bean's position. E Fank that. already out of the blast radius. Alright, guys, at this point, we're assuming they want to mechanize. They're going to have three times BTRs. So, this position in the southwest has been dealt with. Three is at a crossroads here. They're, they're in a rough position. Just that. Uh, Basically cut off. Is this still the first round? Uh, Satchmo, this is still the first round. He's in a really rough position. They got enemies in between them, and this is a bunch of open ground here. They're not making it through there. Four's got him. Four's gonna have these guys cleaned up. I think best best call is to just sit tight. We got a very, very competent squad lead and fire team lead. He's doing work with the call outs. Good communication so far. E Fink goes down to some MG fire from a uh, silent. Copy that. He's out and he needs to adjust it. Where do you need those orders? Ship orders to the. Get him in uh, Mike 12 1 5. Really good call. This should take out two. Sebi V and Oddball if they land. Solid cop. Didn't expect the Russians to be able to get that close before shooting point blank on us, right? They did very good moving in the death play, getting right on top of it. Silent lane shots down on a CJ Ryan. Copy that. Mortars out onto Oddball or Sebi V's position. Silent shooting at uh Midas. Midas? See these mortars land. Should land about here if his corrections are, are 
First call, it's work, correct? Nice. Very, very good. Unfortunately, they move slightly. I really, the mortars have been used very effectively this round, though. It's gonna force Oddball and Brian to just break contact. Right, make sure they're not fucking Copy that. Uh, let me know if you need them loud. Uh, pull out east, oh, CPS move. takes a out, out. damage from that mortar. It's slightly too close. GL fire good for myself. Copy that three. Uh, I don't know what's going. Yeah, really good use of the mortar so far. What's this northern push? How's this northern push looking? They split up. I don't like that call. If they had pushed two squads from the north west, northeast, I think that would have been much more effective. But I like the idea of just the, the argument can be made to just deal with three with everything you've got. And have this squad push in late with a main push from the uh, southwest. I like that. So, uh, defeat in detail. Like, overwhelm this this area before pushing on and having to worry about a crossfire. Okay, okay. I've convinced myself. Yeah, confirm. We have a BTR to our west. We're going to try to find. Copy that. You need smoke rounds to help you up. Help you pull out. Command with a BTR at approximately. DPS is the the I man with the the, the RPG here or the the rocket. To you, to you. Got it. Did he do it? Good shot. CPS does go down. Is it gonna burn out though? Is it? Did it? Did it hit? I thought it hit. It looked like it hit. He didn't miss, did he? DPS, I believed in you. He did. He whiffed. And then went down. Unfortunately, he had a really nice shot. Southern Vic needs to go east. They aren't doing anything down there. I agree. Look at them. Very hesitant to push in. Are they even in a position to fire from long range? Let's go check out their position because it's probably going to be quick. Hit the tree. Hit the tree. Unfortunate. Oh, that was such a good shot. I, okay, they are shooting. What can they see? Interesting. Nothing there, bud. But they actually have really good eyes onto the main compound. It's actually not a bad spot. I don't hate this spot. It puts them well out of range from any lats or hats. Unfortunately, whoever's guiding these shots in aren't being very effective. They're in an okay spot, so I. What's that? Yeah. See, now they're shooting at, at okay spots. Shoot at the sandbags. Shoot at things like that. Yeah. Keep these, their heads down. Stay close to these guys. Look how close they're able to get. Such good movement from the Russian team. Silas Hamdog almost right on top of uh, Uncle Something. Keep moving, guys. Don't group so, up. So, squad one, that's uh, to your southwest, 50 meters. Yeah, copy. Uh, oh, well, they came on. Uh, came on to uh, Prince Pretty, um, Cuba, and friends. They dealt with uh, two of them. Looks like. Yeah, they dealt with two of them. Copy that too. That is to your northwest. Copy. We're we're feeling it. Oh, Kuba goes down. Squad He's got the angle there. That's not a good card squad down. It's Crow. Oh, I see it. Crow's got a really nice angle here. Gun down, reloading. Good, good comms, Crow. Good comms. Guns up. Good comms. Using that SOTT training. Let's go check out this element that's in between, uh, in between two two squads or two fire teams. Just about Revy team looking up at them and uh, total war. And liberal looking I down just, on them. Uh, back in the, uh, wire, uh, Total right here, War and uh, Liberal aren't going to really be able to return fire onto these guys as they've got a BTR pinning them down. But Revy and friends may be able to. Uh, 
Stop them from running up the hill. More shots on the south. Three, when you uh, get in, take up positions on the eastern side of the, uh, or the southeast side of the Bob. Boogie's in a really nice spot, too. Such sneaky little spots from the U.S. to, to, to hold them up. What is next episode of TT? Uh, the guy Hector, check out the website squadops.gg. Whatever uh, time is on there is uh, the next website or the next basic. Um, it's all in your local time. If they're not on there, they just haven't been put up for the next month. Um, and uh, you'll just have to just keep checking the website. I'm not sure. But it should all be on the website squadops.gg. It looks like Mr. Wilbur went down somehow. Mortar's just a little to the east. Cloth boy goes down to Revy. Root like and Zeke. Last two remaining from these two guys in between the uh, in between the squads. Root is hit. Wasn't Revy shooting? Looks like it was Death Magnet instead. Possibly Hero. Death Magnet is hit. Update on kills, 12 for the U.S., 14 for the Russians, still anybody's game just about. I really felt the U.S. had a nice little hole while the Russians were moving amazingly, so I guess I could see how it could be tied. He's just trying to stay hit. Be advised, one and two, water rounds come in danger close between your two positions. One, go ahead. Copy. Let's go see these mortars land. One, what did you want? Two, can you give me an update on how's it going on the north side? Those mortars were ineffective. Uh, stand by for a Mortars did not land on your north. I'm asking how you're going to have on your north side. Shitbox. Okay, we have uh, contacts probably 50 meters in front of us, and uh, we're about. Do you see one guy running 330? Uh, one guy was running 330. Yeah. Copy that. Last yeah, contact was like 308. Off, Do you know if Negative. All I know is they're probably still in front of us somewhere. Hey, let me get you. Okay. Did I call? Cool. Uh, what was that? Good uh, You're good to go. Alright, thank you. I really like this position to defend. A lot of this is pre built. Like, oh, this entire little trench line, this is all pre built. What's your bearing? Of it? 187. 187. Okay. Range is about probably 400. But we have uh, not alive. So. BTRs are getting closer. Here's one. Where's the other? Limit that long range fire they got going. Two, I want you holding your position out there. Oh, there it is. Command, do you want us buttoning up to the pop? Negative two, you are holding out there as per my instructions. Oh, wow. Blackbeard gets tagged, but he's alive. Did his lap buddy die? Blackbeard's okay. Bartok Warrior is alive. What a nice shot. That almost landed. Right, 
ATR in N15, 6 to 8. N15, you said. Person is doing a great job in this match. I, I agree. Person is doing really good. Update on kills 16 to 17 in Russian's favor. One. Kill anybody's game. Try to pull it into cover. Let's not. I don't want to lose any more guys to these BTRs at range. I'm gonna say we're four TRs in N12, one two. N12, one two. Copy. Another BTR on the northwest. What is that? Sixteen. Yeah, it's uh. Ooh, somebody died. Would you guys say it's worth a mortar or BTR? I mean, we can't touch him. Direct fire rate. Copy. Godzilla Bro goes down. Four, would you say there's multiple squads moving in that valley to the south currently? Shit. I think we just got wiped. Uh, that is not What that. do we do, squad lead? Copy that. Alright, I have two of them. Stay noise, we're here now. A from three. He's hit the. Like, uh, up. Russians got two more kills. Their BTRs are doing some work. Let's take a look. Three kills, four kills, one kill. So not as much work as I thought, but seven, eight kills between the three of them. Nine kills between the three of them as Liberal Funda goes down to BTR fire. Two, uh, black oh, what a shot! Who took that shot? Was that Total War or Hijack? Which one? Uh, pulling, pulling my squad back to further close defense, copy. That was Hijack. Had to have been. Actually, yeah, I, want you, I want you turtling up on that hilltop. Oh, where, who, who took that shot? Uh, Oscar 13. Really, really nice shot onto that BTR. It takes out uh, one of them. Storm and Londarts have the second. Razor and Hawk have the third. Good Joker. shot. Whoever took that uh, shot, really, really solid shot. Glad I caught that. Shit, yeah. Northern, northern yeah, dude, I got eyes on the BTR. The, the, the 290. Copy that. Estimate size that, please. Am I gonna take this? Uh, if I can hit this, is be good. Get domed, lad. Don't get domed. Oh, you're losing your opportunity, Vlad! And opportunity's lost. Oh, wow, that was so sneaky! Oh, that was so sneaky, BTR. You see this angle he's got? It is barely peaking. No way anybody's gonna land a shot on him. Really good positioning from his BTR. Bartok took that? Nice. Bartok took the shot on that BTR. That guy's a madman with the RPG. Be advised, contacts in the contracts trench in the trench line now. Meet a CJ Ryan and Boxier Acorn. Make that push. Epic vehicle handling. I agree. That was very, very good vehicle handling. Londarts and Storm. Showing that experience, both very seasoned squad lead. Oh, I was like, did it go down? No. Just got another, uh, Logi. BTR by Razor and Hawk pushing up. I like it. I like it. Keep at least one of these vehicles aggressive. BTR is also danger close on our north side. I need a lad on that now. Smokes out, allowing infantry to push. Maybe getting a little too aggressive. Beans has to watch their left flank. He has to know. Mortar's right on top. Mortar's right on top of your own position, just about. This is insane. BTR goes down. BTR Not down. money man took the shot. BTR down. Is that all three BTRs or is that two? That's two. Uh, two. That is two. Copy. Storm and Londarts now pushing in 25 to 22. US bring it back as this assault fails for the Russians. Had such good movement for them up until then. Phoenix last infantryman standing, it looks like. Black BTRs on the west flank. Londarts and Storm. Rolling in there, leaving that shot open to Vlad. Vlad's gonna be able to get this. He better be able to get this. It lined it up for you, Vlad. Nope, he's gonna die. Oh! Uh, 
Almost. He hit it. He hit it. That's a hit. He just got to reload now. Twenty-seven to twenty-three in U.S.'s favor. The the Russians had such good movement up until the the, the final assault, which granted is a very tough place to assault. So um, it's fine that that it didn't get so far. What could they have done? Mm, their BTRs did fine, I thought. It was a two-pronged approach, maybe. Maybe if they had had the ones, the or the full platoon. No, because then they did a really good job cutting off this this fire on the south. Make sure you guys check your fire. Maybe the assault just could have been timed better, because the southern assault didn't go as well as the northern assault. If this assault was planned a little bit better, maybe. Not to say they can't do it. They still got one BTR and two guys on the ground, Phoenix and Groot. No, I have an SMA. Oh, and I-Monies. There's a couple guys still alive on the ground. And there's a couple guys over there, too. Okay, there's way more alive here than I thought as Jack and Sugar go down to Evan SMA. That's two down. Not counting the Russians out yet. Their initial assault may have failed, but they've still got some, they've still got some gunners. Phoenix and Evan know what they're doing. I recognize the name Groot and Gerwolf. Phoenix is definitely the one in charge, I'd say. No, Evan, Evan is still alive. That he's the platoon lead. That's huge. Alpha Vito is still alive too. That's not bad. So they've still we still got both original platoon leads. Um, basically wipe squad, wipe squad. The Blackbeard's a fire team lead. Very competent fire team lead. So that's good. Uh, he's in local range anyway. Original squad lead. Or the, technically, they've got more of their original squad leads up. But it's it's still really really close. Twenty eight to twenty seven, really really close. Phoenix girl with Evan SMA pushing in. Bartok warrior. Oh no, Bartok warrior! They're giving it to him, and he goes down. Bartok warrior. Guy is crazy. Alright, to be advised, there's still context to the northeast, to your north uh, west and your southwest. Copy. Great job, Bartog. Evan S May goes down to Bartok again. Blackbeard pushing uh, in to Phoenix. Looks like there we got contacts uh, to the south part, southern part of the point and to the northeast. Doesn't see him. He's too low. Yeah. There he goes. Two some. It was Blackbeard and uh, looks like uh, Uncle Niner. Alright, my monies had gone down. Um, Groot is dead. Who's left? Is that it for the Russians? Oh no, Hamdog and Sil Hamdog Silas, loaf of bread, still alive here. Three remaining. Wow. These guys are late to the party to say the least. Uh, 34 to 29 in US favor. They're whiffing their frag rounds, not being as effective as they could be. And they push in and get this. So they're laying down some pretty accurate fire. Copy that. One B advice, we still possibly got contacts to our south, possibly our north, and we got them out. Uh, half a squad plus more. Too aggressive with the vehicles. I think Russians could have worn them down. Yeah, those the 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 one vehicle. There was one legit long range vehicle kill. Um, 
The other two, they they got just too aggressive. They didn't even they 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 were the right amount of aggressive being at about that 200 meter mark where they're in range to see stuff with their optics, but not so far away that you're, you're shooting at pixels. Hamdog goes down on that flank. The the other the then they pushed into like the you know 25 meter 10 meter mark, and I'm like, what are you doing? Ended up not working out for him. We're in that southern trench. One confirmed dead. They haven't moved up since, but it has not been cleared. Okay. Keep an eye on it. Uh, one for your squad to try to keep everyone. From now on, every SO uh, wants him to be lat hat, right? So uh, he just automatically, Bartok, you're lat. Take it. I bet better admins are gonna get these guys moving soon. They seem to have just a fire team up, but they got slaughtered. They still have a few guys hanging back, it seems like. You guys have bad spots. You can gauge from 800 meters Copy easy that. with the BTR. Um, in the mod, we, we've lowered the, the optics, so, Jive. So, they don't they don't have near the same optics, so they ha kind of have to get closer. Just cover our angles and we'll let them come to us. TTR is just in the open. Yeah, you were pretty far away. Were you the one with uh, with Tap? You're on the same BTR as him. Did the US scrambling out of position? Yeah, the the BTR did a pretty solid job at at least denying it a uh, US movement. Looks like something is wrong with the motherboard or something. Keyboard, mouse, and headset turned off and then turned back on. It made me alt tab out of squad and I couldn't get back in. That's very unfortunate total. Hopefully we can get it figured out. Silas firefight with Uncle Niner. Silas is gonna lose out on this if he gets hit because he has already tagged once. He uh I don't think he'll survive to bandage if he gets shot again. Shout out to Bartok, that guy can range, right? Bartok Warrior landed some nasty shots today. I told him to get another self. Uh, right now, the US are in the lead. We got two Russians remaining versus one, two. About seven. Seven or eight US versus two Russians. Actually, nope, it's just Silas. His buddy went down. What's he gonna do? Alright, uh, for do those contacts bug off or did they shift anywhere? Seems like they're shifting to the south. Copy that. Uh, don't do, try to stay close to the point. One, if you can have your guys, uh, just just keep an eye out to the south, especially. I'm gonna go make a move south. and link up with uh, two guys. Yeah. So, south, southeast, southwest. Just keep maintaining the 360. I'm gonna go move uh, to two's location, see if I can get comms with them. If I die, just defend the radio to the last man. Copy. Hero takes out Silas. That is GG. Good job for the Russians. They have really good movement. I think their vehicle positioning could have been better. At the beginning, and they had those two BTRs at extreme ranges. I think that was that was uh, as good as it was uh, gonna get. Then they tried to be aggressive, rightfully so. I think they needed to be aggressive, but they didn't need, need to be so aggressive. They were right on top of their. Uh, Right on top of their um, infantry. Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to listen to what they're saying at the same time. Yeah, they didn't need to push right up on top of their infantry. Little awkward positioning. 
in, in the way that they the infantry just peaked a hill and if the BTR wanted to help and needed to peak the same hill it, the only other option would have been to be further back on, on, on an opposing hill shoot across the hilltops but yeah uh, vehicles could have been used better and I think the Russians would have had that because I really felt that they were in the driver's seat for a majority of that all right, welcome to Operation Eagle, fellas. The battalion is tasked our platoon with defending this hilltop to uh, protect the supply line heading to the airfield from the battalion assembly area. To do this, go ahead and open your map. You'll see our squad responsibility areas marked on the map. One's going to be taking the hill in the northwestern quadrant, Mike 12 1. Uh, my squad, Squad 3, will be taking the southwestern fortification in Mike 13 1. Sorry, Mark 15 2. Uh, squad 4, I believe that's Phoenix's squad, will be here on point defending the FOB, which is our main objective. And then Londard's squad, squad 2, will be out on Eastern Security. Uh, just keep in mind, the enemy may have up three times at BTRs. If not, they're going to have smoke mortars to assist their, their infantry in pushing. So try to keep your heads down. If they do have the BTRs, lats, hats, be good with your shots. Everyone who's got ammo bags, be ready to resupply them. Anyone have any questions? Great. Squad leads, go ahead and break them out. Thank you. Where's Todd? And we are live off the bat. We got blue one moving northwest, blue three moving southwest, blue two moving east, blue four on point. Blue five obviously going to be on point. You just maintain unit cohesion. Like the only thing they can push across. That's mortars. That's mortars, all right. Yeah. I'm just, You're a hat. If we start Black, taking fire, but... yeah, I'm hat. Good. Stay hidden, though. Yeah, that's what I was gonna do. That should be in orange. Hey, Ty, do you have an ammo bag? Right here. Do you want them on, with yeah. holes or full sandbag? I was gonna say, can you do a double with holes in the center? There we go. Oh man, placing this is gonna be tricky. I don't think I'm gonna be able to. Yeah, I can only place it all the way out there. <laughs> Ugh, okay. Uh, shit, can you put one up here? Maybe. Let's see. Do you want, what do you That's want actually a little bit more elevation. I want to check this out. I don't, I don't hate this spot, actually. Maybe. We'll be fine. I mean, maybe just somewhere I'll get the trees and trees up here. Might be nice. Just looking at positions that they're going to be digging up as these guys uh, get moving. Oh, I would, I would use it again. Uh, it doesn't matter. That's me. No, I mean, say it. It's quality. I would have put it against the tree, right? That way you can use use what you have, right? Like this. Which way do you want to uh, That probably works better. Back wall to protect you. Are you still got mine? I want to kind of right. northwestish. You want to look west? All right, I'll put a sandbag on top of this so you don't get shot in the back. Nice little firing pit here. I like I like looking at their defenses that they build because it sort of shows you where their priorities are. Clearly, this this little firing pit or um, OP area is meant to look to the north northwest and not like. They're not worried about their east in the slightest because they've got a squad over there, so it's just a wall to make sure you're not getting shot on the north and northwest, and even direct west. These are probably just general sandbags, yeah. Circling your position at the, at the, the salient. I feel like we're going to be sitting here for a little while. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. Any defenses on the south? Phoenix, I just heard him put something down. Yeah. Alright, Fedros, you'll be looking north. You're tuning in, building out the little loopy. Okay, like, from north to west, anywhere. See, Talk over here. here. I feel defenses like around the mortar pit. Fix your crash and problems. Lightly defended, not a lot of double sandbags. Not expecting to get pushed super hard from very southeast. Yeah, it's definitely it's not like it's completely. OP out here? All OP out here. I don't hate the cross sandbags, and it, the the, the trees really help conceal. I like that. Not bad. 
I'm in charge of this little area. Okay, Ethan, you'll stay in this area. This will be your AO. You, you won't go over there at all. Okay. It's hard to see southeast from here. So, honestly, I don't think they're going to be coming up southeast. I really want you looking south by southwest. Just like I said, crossfire between you and Rio. And then I'm probably going to have Tup looking southeast uh, just to see if enemy, like, moved down uh, into the grid square. I, I, my map's not working, so I would tell you, but I can't. But in that town at Trudeau or whatever. Squad one, I want Trudeau's you to get eyes north, north, north uh, east, all right? Yeah, I'm not too worried. Same with squad, squad two. Just squad checking out south. positions as the red team is still moving. Pretty far away, probably looking at about another five minutes of maneuvering, at least by vehicle before they dismount. Well, three minutes of maneuvering by vehicle, probably two to two to five of maneuvering with infantry on the ground. And then they're actually going to make their assault. Just the waiting game. Checking out positions. Um, really good coverage on their south, honestly. Utilizing their sandbags very well, in my opinion. Yeah. Definitely don't think the U the U.S. used their sandbags in these four positions last round. I could be mistaken, but I felt like they just got rolled. I was actually along this trench. Last time, U.S. did not have guys along the trench line. Pretty exposed, honestly. Surveyor is not going to have much. I guess he's going to be able to fall back into the trench. But he doesn't have much cover at the like. He's just straight up skylined essentially. Could be could be deadly, or he could be deadly from this position. Same with a uh, uh, Zamix. Command reminder: We can use Bard Boy. Want to not space. Really concentration flats on the south. I like it. Oh, two there. Guys are watching their northwest. Nobody's watching the direct west line. I mean, possibly. Play J for sure. Who's looking direct west? Viper here. Worst. Not the best. I have to push that at the end of that tree line though. All in all, I like this this position a little bit better for the uh, U.S. and Latin. This round, it's a it's a nice solid line here. Yeah, that's a little bit of a salient, but that's fine. Um, it's going to be much easier because of this concentration of guys here really blocking off this giant area. Oh, it, it's not probably blocking off like this area for maneuver. Possibly allowing these guys to reinforce where necessary. Can you put always valid on real quick so I can place a rally? We'll see what happens. Really weak defense here. That may allow these guys to, to sneak up here in this position. But as far as any any approaches from here or even here, it's gonna be really tough. For these crossfires. Are you on foot yet? Nope, not yet. They're still moving in from airfield. It's gonna be a tough push from them from the southwest. Up on my nope. game tags yet? No, they do not. I haven't you have plans for this, for the rest of the build? And we can build up around no. the final, 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 final <clears> You can do whatever you want. You're better at this Got than it. me.
Probably about another two minutes of movement by these by these vehicles. Probably over us. Oh no, they dismounted finally. Cool, let's go check out Russians. They haven't popped up. There they go. They popped up in my screen. Move forward just a little bit. They're gonna use their uh, the airport as their bounding off point. And we'll see if this is gonna stay a continuous line, a north north south line moving east with BTR supporting uh, mortars in the rear. Or are they going to try for some kind of two-pronged approach of two squads moving northwest, sort of like a uh, pivot using this here, here. Probably going to be something like that. Two squads north of this hill, two squads south. Go around the little pit area, no reasoning. What's that? Okay. What's that? Interesting sound. Whatever that was, it was northwest of one. Got it. Command, this is two. Yeah. My morale is uh, looking good. Uh, someone called that as the sound of a PTR exploding. I flipped BTR, as you know. Oh, God. Hopefully. Unfortunately not. <laughs> Since we got a little downtime, pull your squad and see if they had fun last round. My squad said they hated it. Worst stop ever. Oh. Kick-Ass with Mortar Edition is ready and waiting. Got it. DTR starting to push up. Line is coming into a uh, picture now. Two's falling behind. We got three and six in the middle with five on the south. Or one. Who's commanding this? Five is still commanding, six is an extra squad. Ended up funky here. Two, have you spotted anything northeast? Squad two, have you spotted anything northeast? Negative. No contact north, northeast, nor, um, South or southeast. Gotcha. Movement's on the northwest. Nobody spotted it yet. It's not like the uh, BTR is trying to hide. Just out in the middle of nowhere. Nice line. Good looking line. Spacing's awful but it looks great look at this spacing though grenade here takes out four we'll t probably takes out three this takes out three maybe four that takes out two maybe three two dead two dead three dead probably with the mortar four dead with the mortar spacing folks spacing good looking line but you just need some more space probably just trying to stay hidden but I think you should still practice it. Need that space. FYI, command, we have 60 mortars at our disposal. Copy. Of course, Phoenix would be the one to calculate that. And it's not hard, it's three times, whatever. Whatever divided by 100? Divided by 90? 
Times that by three. Did you hear the faint sound of a mortar? Side, far west. Same yeah, stand by for good. You start to get lit up. BTR opening fire onto Clay J and friends. They're gonna make it out of there. Infantry around. moving now. You need to keep the pressure up. One and six pushing. This is their assault. Yes, we're getting marked with smoke for our west. Alright, if you got a good location for infantry, let Phoenix know. Hold that. Just hide if you have to. Yeah, I'm gonna get to our things are good. You're moving, they need to keep this pressure up, they can't stop. Or they're gonna get dialed in with mortars. Be out in the open right now. Don't get bogged down here. Two guards in this little uh, group of people, he'll keep them moving, he knows. He does know. No, he knows. Do it, don't get stuck here, dwarf, what are you doing? It stopped again. Command, this is maybe, maybe wait for smoke. Yes. All quiet. No sign of any contact north, northeast, east, southeast, or even southwest. Copy that. Squad one. If you if you're gonna take contact and if you do move somebody, just fall back and just stay on the hill hidden. All right. Copy. BTR grid is K twelve nine three. K twelve nine three K twelve. I mean, not a bad. It's it's K twelve six five nine three. Not super far. Yeah, if it's right around it. Repeat the grid location for Phoenix. Heard kilo twelve nine three. I'm gonna disperse southwest. Infantry likely not on top of it. Yeah, that's actually really good. Well, six five, no good. Code twelve six five. Heard. My well, infantry's moving now. I want to one guy. Yeah, if you have to just pull back and hide on top of the hill. Yeah, yeah. Alright, let's go to squad 2 spacing. Yeah, spacing is not super hot here. If these mortars are on target, they can be devastating. Look at this spacing here. These rounds outbound on previous location. Alright, I have no eyes to crush you. Just hold on that hill. Just stay hidden. Close. Oh, Blackbeard's gotta be scared. He's running. These guys gotta move before these mortars get dialed on top of them. And they are moving. They're over the hill. They're pushing. Yes. Really solid push here. Let's keep it going. Keep it going. Whose squad is this? Dwarf's? Dwarf squad. He's pushing aggressively. The rest of squads need to follow suit. Get in there with him. Contacts. Lima at 1496 heading south. Hold squad. Lima 
He's gonna move fire team south prepared to flank this guy's I like it. But uh Russian movement is just slightly better in my opinion. They're gonna be a bit overwhelmed this. I've been very hesitant hesitant to move uh, move his blue two squad. We'll see if he pays for it. Uh, dwarf squad, Shikard's fire team pushes in for the assault. Blue Shikard comes into contact with two. Nice frag takes out Metis and Sebi V. One down to six. Update on kills three for the US, three for the Russians. Feel anybody's game. Well, this mortar should land really, really nicely on this uh, clumped up platoon. Takes out nobody. Almost takes out a uh, Kingen. Oh, saturate the area, please. That was so good. Yeah, Kingen does go down. And does man? It does bleed out. Great mortars. Hopefully red team starts to disperse. Looks like they are. Really solid mortars. And red dispersing nicely. Oh, look at that. Using mortars, smoke mortars in another area. Allowing It's Crispy and his fire team to push in. Really nice use of the mortars there. Damn near perfect use of the mortars there. Squad one, are you holding north in the trenches? Okay. No ditch. Oh, Kuba's trying to peek this. I that was a very nice push. Very solid push from Red Team. Russians have been moving so well today. Both platoons have been moving. Yeah, they just they 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 had really solid movement. Mortars almost on top of friendly positions. I don't know. They they're a little further back. All good. More smoke mortars blocking off lines of sight. They, those mortars just to block off lines of sight. That's amazing. Great use of the mortars from Alpha. He doesn't need those extra BTRs. His one is doing just fine, allowing the. Russians to basically bully the U.S. at this point. Kills are still even. Six kills for the U.S., five for the Russians. But Russians are in the driver's seat at dictating the movement that the Russians can... Or dictating the movement the U.S. can do. Wayne Newton and It's Crispy both take shots. May go down here. They can't... They can't afford to lose anybody. And with those two-for-one frags, that they're getting value. That's for sure. Another goes down. Patrick Star goes down to a frag. Sold intense right. Very intense. Eight to nine. Russians keeping it even. Cuba's, pu Cuba's pulling this fire team back. This fire team is dealt with. And now it's two and a group of three. Almost surrounded. Squad facing the fire team. They're really, yeah, really nice move from the uh, U.S. Or excuse me, from the Russians. They need to clear out all of the areas.
Hunt's down to three. Hunter has one squad. Alright, fall back. Fall back if you need to. Not gonna be able to fall back in this. Clay J is stuck out here. Basically, he's got a bunch of he's got a bunch of pockets of blue. Enemies south. There's a pocket here. The pocket here. There's a pocket here. Well, it's, it's a, almost a continuous line for the Russians. Basically, what we're looking at. Mike 13 6. That's a really good call out. Really good call out as it sticks, folks. Starting to push these guys out in the open. Really good smoke mortars. It's allowing them to be this aggressive. See, this is just going to get run up on. Same with TYTY and Hawk. What is it just too late? Dick's folks are going to be already on top of this. Oh, smoke mortars, killer of frames. Look at this. Almost perfect use of the smoke mortars. Oh, Dixfold takes out Hawk. They're in. Bartok pushing TY. TY, who's gonna get the better of him? Bartok Warrior gets the better, better, the better of him. Better. What is just a little too low or too slow? Yeah, server may have an opportunity here as they're just ignoring them to push in. This fire team can push in and deal with this. So, I like this actually for for both teams. They've got opportunities. They can continue this push here and reinforce and then push here. It does open them from a flank from two directions. From another area, but if they can continue to funnel guys into ooh, We're pushing north to, to here, got it. I think they've got a chance. Mortaring right on top of friendlies almost takes out one, it looks like. Bartok Warrior and his fire team getting reinforced, so yeah, they're just if they continue to flood guys in here and can keep up the pressure, they can't get stalled out as two go down to a mortar. Bartok and Crow spacing the thing. Um, they need to keep up this pressure. This is their opening. This is where it's gonna happen. Make or break it. Black Blackbeard goes down from a flank from Evan SMA. Where your western element was. Both teams have decent positions. Exactly. Neither can win in a straight-up gunfight. They have to outmaneuver it. Yeah, battle spacing is a thing. Oh, this is gonna be rough for them because Evan is, or excuse me, Phoenix is just deadly on a mortar. Takes out Godzilla Pro, Vlad and uh, Sachmo. Gonna push out. Three mortars left. Making count. Who's who's on the mortars? Phoenix got five with the mortars so far. Vlad gonna be forced to bandage here. Evan SMA takes out two. West of me, west of me. Might go down. Three. Three contacts. Mortars are chipping them away. Evan SMA also doing a lot of work here. Three kills. Another. That's four kills for Evan as a frag takes out Hijack. Phoenix is killing it with the mortars. Evan's killing it with his command. My money goes down. Yes. BT out maneuvering on our north, northwestern side. Okay. Three is dealt with. This this whole little element here is, has been dealt with. There's a pocket of red there. It's gone. Suddenly it's looking really, really good for the uh, blue team. They just got more, more uh, guys on the outside. Taking a look at the kills. 26 kills for the US, 17 kills for the Russians. Mortars doing it for them, honestly. Down, send your southern element to the point. Nice mortar. 
Vlad pushing on to Seethers. Seethers is none the wiser. Same with Vlad. Doesn't appear there are any contacts on Squad 1's old position. Alright, get him to me. Clear. Clear straight. Seethers takes shots at. or uh. Vlad takes shot at Seethers. Misses them. Seethers take, gets the uh. the frag. Server, get eyes northwest. Is this flank happening? Three, yeah, three needs to get their, their lives together here and push in on this flank before their opportunity is blown. They did take out a BTR, it looks like. Really, really good shot. Whoever took it, was it Storm or Groot? Really good shots, taking out that BTR. That's gonna, that's gonna be devastating for the Russians. They've only got one of those. They don't have three. Turn them up, it's sick, glad you have now. Oh, thanks, Assault, I appreciate it. Two. two go down to Zeke, right on top of each other. Okay, three oh. of you with that contact northeast of you. Really good shots on Zeke's part. Southern element launch. Thirty-one to seventeen as it's starting to slip away for the US. Great use of the smoke rounds. They just it was here. Here is where I'll tell you exactly where it fell apart for them. Right here. They got stalled. They clumped up, they went down in twos and threes. And they just got completely wiped here. If they had continued the push through here, there was what five guys here to defend? Four? Really, it was like three to four guys there to actually defend with one guy on the mortars. If they had just continued the push here, just be aggressive, I think they would have been able to overwhelm the US, get their fob down, and then suddenly swap it to where they're on that defense, have that defender's advantage, allow it to sit there. Frost goes down to Alpha Guido. Two close west, two very close west guy just went down. Thirty-two to eighteen. If I go down, it's from the south. The mortars are left. He said three. Or did he mean three tubes? Two, two mortars outbound, close splash twenty within twenty meters of your west. The Roger. Patch Mo may go down here as he's forced a bandage. He's really low. I think he'll be okay, but he's gonna have. Nope, he, he bleeds out. Damn, that was some nice mortars, Phoenix. And then it exactly where he wanted them to. Unfortunately, Alpha pushes on. Phoenix versus Alpha. Alpha lands the better shot, but they both get tagged. This V12. This is V12. Uh, gaming train witch. Alpha goes down to Seethers. G G. Alpha Guido, last one standing. Great job to the US. Good de defense. Really nice hold. Really good use of the smoke mortars from the Russians. I just think they, they, they stalled at the wrong time. They had such a solid push, um, but unfortunately they didn't manage to make it work for them as the they, they ignored a couple areas that might have been worthwhile clearing out and the U.S. managed to get the better of them. Oh, Good insane. job to both teams. If you guys oh, are interested in participating shit, in these events, check us out at squadops.gg. All you have to do is sign up on the website, take our basic training course, then you can participate in any and all of our Squad Ops One Life events. Um, the ones we stream are on Wednesdays, twice on Saturdays. We also host Friday events and Sunday events, all on the website, squadops.gg. I was your commentator for this evening, Shattered Ritual, and until next time, we'll catch you later.